What's up? It's Ben and Randy. <laughs> yeah, we are here today to talk about the some Christmas. Of Christmas. Woo! Here we go. Let's dive right into it. First things first. It's a pagan holiday uh, from back in Rome. Yeah, Roman. Yeah, Roman culture. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, meeting blueberries. So. If it sounds like a meeting. Eating blueberries. Ah! <laughs> so, uh, back in, in Rome culture, uh, they would celebrate two holidays in December. The second one being Merva, yeah. the birth of the sun god. The sun god. The son of God. Turn that around and it is... <laughs> <laughs> I twist the story a few hundred years and that was back in 338 is what, okay, it's, is what so it says. It, it keeps going. Yeah. Because it... The pagans that didn't worship gods celebrated the birth of light, the winter solstice, which is the uh, when the days start getting longer. December. So you celebrate the sun. And you right. know what that goes with? Seasonal depression. Yep. So you know how they're like, the son of God will come again. The sun God will come again. Which means once you know December's here, you know it's going to start getting warmer. The days are going to get longer. You'll start to be happy again, right? Yeah, okay. Interesting. Right, interesting. yeah. It's very interesting because if you told me it was the sun god and not the son of god, I may have been more willing to accept an energy form. You know yeah, what I mean? Like so, a planet, you know what I mean? Like, that's okay. So there was a war on not Christmas. Not a man. Uh, back to the Puritans in the 17th century, they banned Christmas for 20 years in America, the Puritans, which is like religious, because they knew that the traditions were pagan. But they stopped banning it because it just, like, blew up. It got too big. But the fact that people really think that Christmas is to celebrate Jesus Christ. The birth. Yeah, yeah birth. like, how about, yeah. like, this one, guy, this one guy instead of, like, the whole sun? The whole ass sun that's still here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that still has a very big impact on everyday life. Yeah. Global warming, my friend. So, ironically... <laughs> Christmas period celebrates the sun. That's it. The glowing sun. Ironically, it's in the winter, but it's like it's like a midwinter celebration where it's like it's coming back. Don't worry, the days are getting longer, it'll get warmer. Yeah. Hang in there. Yep. It's just bizarre. I just can't believe that. You know? How far twisted it's gotten. How far, yeah. It's like you guys remember the game telephone, right? Yeah. It's the same exactly. shit. You keep telling that story, and eventually it's a different story. <laughs> it just sounds similar. <laughs> yeah, so that's kind of my theory on that. And Because I say all the time, you know, I don't celebrate these holidays, I don't celebrate these holidays, and people have a lot of questions, obviously. Yeah. So I'm just trying to clarify. You that's need why. answers. Yeah, our last podcast was Thanksgiving, because Thanksgiving approaching. So we'll yep. do things. Uh, what's after that? Christmas, right? Yep. So here we are. Black Friday. Check it. Uh, check. Sorry about that, everybody. We obviously had a terrible microphone failure. I know. You uh, you left that mic check right there. You I did. I'm going to leave that mic check so everybody knows what happened there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Here we are. We're back uh, talking about Christmas and not Black Friday. Here we are. <laughs> ah. What do you got? Yeah, Christmas. Um, so break the cycle. Quit lying to your kids. There is no fat guy that comes no, no, down no, your no. chimney. So, That's terrifying. Right, so let, let's dig deeper into that. The Christians taking that pagan holiday. Okay. Uh, what? Nothing. Just pinpoint the target. I don't like that. I'm not attacking anyone. You know, I don't. It's I, not attack. I'm just. I'm just talking about general belief. No, Christmas is a Christian holiday, and everybody in the entire United States knows that. For real? That, is that only in the United States? I think so. Christmas? Or like other European places? No. I'm no. pretty sure it's here. Interesting. Uh, it might be in other... Okay. Yeah, maybe in the other European places. But it's a Christian holiday, so it's not an attack. It's accurate. And the reason why Santa Claus was invented was because Nicholas, a guy named Nick, went delivering presents. Saint Nick. No, he's a saint. Why? Because he delivered presents? Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Amazon drivers. You're saints. Anyway, so this Saint Nicholas um, became known as the guy who every year on that celebration of Christmas, now that it has been m manipulated and changed, right? you know, dropped shoes or whatever, or dropped gift bags at the door and shit like that. Mm -hmm. So, 
he was Saint Nick, you right. know, and it, Nicholas Claus, Nick Claus, you know, maybe it was Nick Claus, not Nicholas. Interesting. Yeah, yeah like a different right. Bible, biblical right. word or whatever. Right, right, right. And um, yeah, so then Santa Claus delivered presents to kids. Not Saint Santa. Yeah, and that <laughs> came from the Christians. So we don't tell our children. I mean, we don't tell Connor uh, that some guy does that. The Santa Claus is a cartoon. He's a character that represents. The spirit, or the the Christmas spirit. The, the feeling, like, yeah. yeah. Like the, the, the warm, fuzzy feeling, like, yeah. When you think of joy and lights and music, yeah. Right, but it's not it's literally a fat guy that runs a clan full of slave elves, you know? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it just sounds a little dark. <laughs> no, and it definitely is, and that's why there's, like, those, like, other stories and fairy tales, like the Grim Tales or whatever. Those I've never just, heard those. Yeah, they're, like, morbid, like, the origins of fairy tales like what actually happened but anyway so yeah so <laughs> christmas and santa, santa claus is definitely a christian based character yeah so you know it's it's not fair to say merry christmas to everybody it's actually a little bit offensive right yeah i mean i mean i i prefer happy holiday i prefer happy holidays for sure because then i don't feel all the pressure you know like yeah and well you we enjoy say your holiday. we don't celebrate <laughs> christmas so you know what do we celebrate like the, well, so we do seven days right we celebrate the winter we definitely celebrate the winter solstice yeah, yeah i would say so i'm an energy celebrator would you know? it just would we just call it like happy solstice like what do pagans i'm not a pagan i would just say no i it's know happy day great day to be alive i hate putting titles on you're days right, you're you right. know? um it doesn't need a title so we celebrate the winter solstice i think that's it period maybe I just kind of don't celebrate anything. But I like to put lights up because everybody else is and I can get away with it. I know, it's like so depressing how you're just like, well, nothing really brings me joy enough to... Well, it's just, it's one of those parts of waking up and you just realize that most is. of it I think was bullshit. I'm sure that you probably didn't have a good Thanksgiving or Christmas at your house. Yeah, you no, I've never had one. So I have a great resentment against the movies and like all the bullshit like oh, all 30 relatives together and nobody died no i don't believe that yeah yeah so <laughs> i think that and i think that's where breaking the cycle comes in and starting new traditions blocking like yourself. staying home <laughs> no because i'd like to no yeah we're in disagreements on this obviously but i just think that it's fun to celebrate things and it is fun, yeah, celebrating fun is celebrate. fun, but I think there's more practical things you can celebrate. You know what I mean? Like birthdays. I love celebrating birthdays. That's practical. I definitely go all out on birthdays. That's practical. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, like things like that. Or like, um, I don't know, the puberty. <laughs> celebrate puberty. Well, you celebrate things that like Halloween. really make a difference. Why do you do that? Well, because I like the, the spirit of Halloween. It has nothing to do with the religion or anything. I just like the the dark, you know, the family gathering with your with your closest family. You don't go to your relatives for Halloween. You know? Okay, so I get what you mean. You, you're just a Halloween kind of guy. Can I see that water jug? Sure. So you just... So what else would you celebrate? My birthday, Halloween. Um talking about american holidays or just in general um yeah just holidays like that's it as far as holidays really i mean uh yeah even new year's day it's stupid because it's my birthday so same with fourth of july it's always my birthday exactly so, so what are you gonna do but um, no i don't celebrate the fourth of july no i definitely celebrate my birthday i celebrate your birthday um yep. but yeah so no it's it's a, it's a hard it's a hard one man like, I love it Christmas. seems like everything was a lie. And it was. They just, you know, like, they just expect everyone to just be yeah. okay with the lie when but, they figure it all out. Like, it's... I don't but know I, I see that you feel resentful towards the lie. And I just feel like, well, it's still fun to celebrate, so why not? For what? Live a lie? It's not a lie. I know what? what I'm celebrating. And that's what you teach your kids. You know? And you, what's that? Me? I'm yeah. celebrating the solstice. I can't wait for the warmth to come back. Yeah, okay. The day I'm shivering right now, Wayne. Yeah, <laughs> I like. 
I like reminding myself that this only happens once a year, and it always gets warmer afterwards, you know, and it's fun, and it's... I appreciate every moment. That's why I don't pretend like this is any different or any more special. You know what I mean? Uh, I guess. No, I'm serious. No, like, I, know. I like to think of every day as we should sit down and play a board game. You know, every day we should make no, hot see, cocoa and watch a movie. You know, it doesn't have to be on Christmas see, or but Thanksgiving I'm a, or whatever. I'm more of a vibe person, and that's how I just, I'm very feelings, intuition-based. Like, I follow my feelings. So growing up, watching Christmas movies, wrapping presents, cooking dinner, decorating the tree. I never wrapped celebrate, presents. Exactly. Celebrating Christmas was always a vibe, you know? Nope. I just remember stress. Even as an adult, I feel like maybe I just carried it. But yeah, stress is having to buy people shit, having to think about everybody, having to fucking get out of your house, having to answer your phone, having to mail the cards, pretend like you care, all that shit that doesn't normally happen. You have to pretend like it matters you out don't, of nowhere. So think about that sense right there. You don't have to pretend. That's well, a lack of boundaries. Yeah, but then you're just... Bah humbug. Whatever. <laughs> What's that? A Scrooge. Yeah, exactly. Which I am. I get it. I am a little Scroogey, but I'm not trying to shit on anyone's parade. Okay, you know? so like, think about it this way. I just can't. Other people celebrate the holidays, right? I can't find the extra like, joy. Think about, yeah, so there it is. Help other people. You're very good at feeling good when other people feel good. Sure. I can vibe off people's energy. Everybody else is going to celebrate Christmas. Right. So maybe that should be the time where you, you know just are extra nice to people because people take the holiday seriously. So even opening the door for someone could make someone's holiday. Obviously, but I feel like that's something you should do every day. No, yeah, I guess. Always hold the door for someone. Always do those acts of kindness. I don't think that should be a special day thing or a yeah. special season thing. Fuck no, dude. People have stress every day, all day, all day, all holidays. I mean, that totally makes sense. I mean, so I'm that's, that's that why I just feel like it's... It shouldn't be, you know, like, I'm going to be a douche until Christmas time, and then I'm going to start acting like I care. You know what I mean? Like, no, no, definitely like not Like, that's that. what I'm like, saying. Teaching your like, kids that when they're exactly. young. Exactly. Teach about Santa. Like, always be caring and, and helpful. That's totally true. I guess we just have different opinions or different feelings on different holidays. Because, to me, Halloween is like, whatever, you know? Yeah. I mean, for me, too. It's whatever, but I enjoy it. It's yeah, fun. It's fun. That's how I yeah, feel Yeah, I like Christmas. to dress up. I like to get the kids all excited and, you know, and sift you, through the candy, do the old school dad yeah, thing, Yeah, that you know? right there. That's celebrating Halloween. You yes. like to celebrate Halloween. I like, the yeah, the tradition of Halloween, sure. Yeah, yeah. and I love like It's not Christmas. religious. That's... I hope not. It's pagan-based. Yeah. <laughs> Pagans are religion. It's a set of beliefs, but... But yeah, and that's the other thing. I don't not celebrate Christmas. You know, I tell Connor, you know, Santa Claus represents Christmas. He's just no, not I, real. No, it's just true. a character. So you know what I mean? You, we definitely, we celebrate We still have a tree. Things. You know, we still have lights. I think that I should just be more confident in my decisions around the house when it comes to stuff like that. Because me, I'm just like, well, if you don't want to do it, like, we don't have to do it. Instead of, like, being a little pushy, like... I was going to say, I, I did the whole outside. No, I know. <laughs> I did all that. <laughs> but I was definitely... I guess I was a little pushy about it. I'm like, tree. 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 Good, tree. Tree. Yeah. Tree. tree. <laughs> yeah, and then it was in the yard for a day, and then it was on the porch for a day, and then I put it together. <laughs> yeah. Uh... But the only reason I don't touch it is because the first year we got it, our cat peed on it. And now it just forever smells like cat pee. So you fluff the branches and shit, and you like, oh, God. You know? Oh, well, speaking on it, it doesn't smell anymore. But, yeah, I know what you're saying. But, no, it's uh, it's an outside tree, just so everybody knows. It is now. It is an outdoor tree. It goes on our porch. But I would like one half that size for in the house. So cool. not one of the tiny ones. Yeah. But, like... One of the po' folk ones. Gotcha. Yeah. Let's get a po' folk tree. Because I... 1999. I love Christmas. <laughs> With lights. <laughs> but I love celebrating what's coming after Christmas. You know, it's... My birthday. Yeah. Yay! Yay! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man, I almost forgot what my name was. What? <laughs> really? So, yeah. Oh, so off subject, guys. Just so you know, when you quit smoking cigarettes, you get really high. When you smoke weed, it's stupid. Yeah, you think when you got all lightheaded, you definitely were high after it was definitely that? definitely high, yeah, because I feel it again. When you were eating your bagel, mm -hmm. how did you feel? Fine. Like, I'm talking like 
high or do you just not mindfully eat your I food? was licking my lips and dripping it so I was high. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you sort of paying attention to I it. was being messy for sure and that's okay. not like me, so yeah. Because that's what I'm trying to like figure out because Ben so said... Quit smoking cigarettes, guys. It'll change your life. Yeah, Ben said he was feeling really lightheaded and um, it's like I said, well, you took a hit and then you like died after. I like coughed. And whenever that's I, what she meant. Like, I I, yeah, whenever yeah. I do that, whenever I die after a hit, I feel really like too high so i have to like collect myself <laughs> too hard yeah and that's what my theory of ben was and then he wasted like zero time making himself a bagel so but yeah so empty stomach too that'll help yeah but definitely i think that quitting smoking cigarettes has changed it your changes life. everything and then does. i didn't realize how much i hate the smell of cigarettes until like these until now you smell them on strangers and you're like ew yeah my like, god that stinks <laughs> I know. and i was that guy that's terrible do you think that when you smell people who smoke cigarettes i do you do yeah you don't think oh i missed that smell no 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 i smell it and i'm like that's fucking gross i remember having to wash my hands every time i came in yeah because it's just gross like i don't even want to touch the baby you know don't want to touch the food don't yep. want to it's exactly. gross so that's cool that now Ben gets high off of the cannabis. Yeah. Also, an awakening thing. Yeah? Yeah, because, yeah, because I, I smoked out of pure habit. I, I, and then I fucking conscious, mindfully smoked and realized that I don't like smoking. So I quit. Yeah. Cold turkey. Done. So now whenever Ben needs the aesthetic of going outside for a smoke, I say, roll a joint. And he's like, oh, yeah, yeah. Good idea. And then he does, <laughs> and he's good. And it's... I forget about joints sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he'll light whole fires, not need a cigarette anymore. So it's just... Pretty bizarre. Yeah, honestly, because back in the really day, nice. it'd be like a half a pack over a fire at night. Sometimes you know? I finish a meal and I still think he's going to get up and go for a cigarette. It's crazy. <laughs> it's been how long now? Three months. Woo! To the day. Really? Congratulations! Wow. Is that the 21st? Yes! No way! Yes, it is. Wow! Hey, that's really cool! You're three months clean! Three months over from nicotine. Wait till it's like 11 years and you're gonna be like, God, I really never thought I'd stop. Right? Yeah. Like, I can't believe I quit. I really can't because I thought I was destined. My parents both smoked, you know, in the cars as a baby, you mm -hmm. know? Like, that's just how it went. It's just a so I grew up 17, I'm smoking. So you think know? about it this way if neither of us smoke cigarettes, there is a extremely high chance Connor will never smoke cigarettes. Oh, isn't that nice? Isn't that amazing? Or vape or anything stupid like yeah, that? Yeah, just smoke weed. <laughs> yeah, our kids are going to be potheads. There's no For avoiding sure. this. But they'll have to break that. That's <laughs> their job. They'll never smoke cigarettes because why yep. would they? Well, Connor will never smoke a cigarette because why would he? It's gross. Really? Yeah. Oh, man. That I didn't think good. anything about smoking cigarettes until my stepmom smoked cigarettes. You know, it planted that idea in my head. So... I you just know. I just always thought that's just what adults do. They smoke cigarettes. Exactly. Life's stressful. You're an adult. Smoke a cigarette. Well, I didn't think that way because I didn't meet anyone until I was eight. My stepmom smoked cigarettes, and then it became normal. Then I started noticing how many other people do. But yeah, but it's less common these days. I feel yeah. like I feel like it's becoming less and less common, and Definitely. the vapes are fading off too. I haven't seen so many fucking clouds of vape everywhere. <laughs> that's because we don't live in Tucson. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. It's the city where they do this shit. Mm -hmm. Vapes are stupid. <laughs> yeah, but that's so off subject. Well, I was just, yeah. Back to Christmas. Uh, don't be a Grinch, but, you know, be know mindful about what you're celebrating. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know your really boundaries. Don't find it celebratory worthy, that's fine. I mean, support your wife that does, obviously. Ob obviously. Build her tree. Yeah. Exactly. Up. You got it. Yeah, uh -huh. but <laughs> you don't know. You don't have to, like, sit there and talk shit just exactly do your live thing. your life we're just uh sharing our opinions because that's what it's this is this is a yeah. podcast so like yeah if i were just sitting on a bus stop i would not tell somebody all this you know? but then ben and i kind of buried ourselves because now we do seven days of christmas <laughs> yeah but it's a president day we're not stupid and we have three kids and that's 21 presents but you know we could have done like how many days. is that <laughs> we could have done like four days but we're like a whole week whole week's gonna be badass and now we're like fuck we had to like yeah we had to like we had to like one up christmas yeah that's 
that's exactly what happened. Is it? Yeah. Instead of downscaling. Well, it's because we didn't want to disappoint the children who were already oh already raised on already that. raised on it. So we're like, oh shit. Well, let me at least do a good thing for yeah. you. I'm not going to take away your joy. <laughs> that's, yeah. like, that's like $250. <laughs> yeah, we these can't days? ever have a kid again. Shit, man. yeah, ridiculous. these days? Nah, man. We wait till Jason's old enough to start buying presents for I him. think Christmas presents should be tax deductible. <laughs> <laughs> On that should, note, right? Oh uh, yes. No, but because imagine if they were tax deductible, the government pushes like capitalism, right? The people that own Walmart and shit, they push Christmas mm -hmm. so hard There's that like eight obviously aisles. you're gonna buy things. Yeah, you can't get groceries without looking at nine aisles worth of yeah. on sale toys or it whatever. Just be you know, like the month of December, all your savings are tax deductible. You know, <laughs> <laughs> something right? Anything you spend in the holiday months should be tax deductible yeah. because they indoctrinated that shit Absolutely, into us. Absolutely, a million percent. And here Christmas we are going broke, going broke every year. Yeah, because and that's over a bunch of toys, too, you know. Right, we have a savings, and then we have to think to ourselves, but don't forget, because in Christmas we're gonna drop that by two or three hundred. It's like holy shit, why? <laughs> because we don't want to give our children a shitty Christmas. Right. We're not gonna get only Dollar General toys. No, and I agree with you. They yeah. should have the best to our capabilities. For exactly sure. to our capabilities, at least like. And that includes the savings. Ten dollars a present. You know? We're not people that have savings. We're paycheck to paycheck. We're normal fucking people. Exactly. You know? So it's like. Savings is like a hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, and it's a lot of struggle to make Christmas good, but you know, manifesting too helps a lot. Um, I'm just hoping that no, not hoping. I just know that everything will fall into place. Everything always does. It'll be just fine, and we still got a month away. You know, so right, ride the wave. And now I can tell everyone happy holidays. Happy holidays! <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Peace! Peace!